Greetings, this is Stasia Bliss. Today I want to talk about this idea of recapitulation. We're in a phase of the ascension process where we are needing to integrate back into wholeness so that we can walk our whole selves forward into the new paradigm, into the new reality. So we're kind of trapped in this in-between, not trapped, but until we realize that we have to take all parts of ourselves. So it's kind of like a training camp, it's a remembrance center, it's a transition bridge, it's a hallway, it's a portal, whatever you want to call it, there's lots of planetary energies helping to push us in the direction of, like the video I recently did of Neptune going retrograde where the illusions, the veils are pulled away and we get to see things exactly as they are so that we aren't you know, in an illusory state. But part of that now is to assess our life as it has been. You could say we're in the crossroads, um, sort of going through the death gate in a way of the wholeness. And of course, with that does entail some people actually crossing over physically. But for a large population, we have an opportunity to die without dying, to in fact, assess our life situation, look at all the things that we've gone through, decide that we're going to appreciate and love that about us too, that we're just going to bring it back home to the heart. And I like to do this in a simple meditation by just closing your eyes. And I want you to just feel that you are magnetic at the core. Feel like a magnetic core as, as we imagine the earth to have somewhere in the center of your being. <coughs> Excuse me. As I bring attention there, I'm noticing a film around it, and that's where the coughing is coming in, which is the attempt to veil this very powerful force that is in each of us. And whether that attempt to veil it is by outside or inside sources, it doesn't matter. The truth is that there's always some force trying to work against us, be it self-sabotage or external uh, to complete this game. We actually needed this uh, opposition to make it interesting, right? But if you can feel this magnetism in you and tune into it, and first of all, just take a few deep breaths into it. Feel it getting stronger. And now bring attention to all the places in your life where you may be giving attention, giving your energy, thinking about or even stuff way back that maybe you're not thinking about anymore, but you know there's a, like a heart thread or some place where you left part of yourself behind because it wasn't comfortable or good or positive situation and you felt like you had to go, but part of you stayed because you felt bad or whatever. Also projects, family members, anyone that you still feel like you're giving a piece of yourself to. I want you just to imagine all those parts being magnetized and flowing back to you to center. And just feel this return of all your energy attention and honoring each one of those pieces of you that did that job of giving a little bit of yourself away, that job that you learned those codes, you learned that experience, you had that experience now under your belt. I like to say you got the codes for it. You went there, you got the postcard, and now you're bringing that energy back home, you're returning as the prodigal son, so to speak. You've been out seeking, traveling, experiencing in lifetime after lifetime, in this society and early childhood and all the relationships and all the experiences you've had up to this point and they're all sort of lined up and we're just we're receiving them back energetically like a check-in point a check-in station cosmically and we're just going to honor all of those parts so we can recapitulate we can come back to wholeness with all of our pieces
because it takes being whole to step through to the next. It just takes wholeness. So when we try to go just with part of us and there's pieces we didn't check on because we thought we were done with that and we don't want that part, we don't like that part, well, we got to bring it all. And that includes parts where when you go back to heal and you recognize this is what the healing is going to look like. Healing does not always mean the scar goes perfectly away and it looks like it never happened. No. You might have a scar. You might, like, this tattoo is never going away. And if I hated it, if I was like, oh, this represents a time in my life I don't like, I'd need to love that about myself. I'd need to love that. And in fact, if you do ta have tattoos, it is good to recheck in with yourself. Like every time I got a tattoo, it was an initiation for me. Where that time in my life, this was me working with herbal medicine, plant medicine, and really wanting to integrate that into my being and the yin yang of fire and water. This um, ability to balance the elements in an external way. I wanted to know that internally. I wanted to take that in. So I got this tattoo for that so I could integrate that. And it really did work. Like I really started to feel like I was the herbs instead. Like now I had a closer, more intimate relationship with them than I did when I was just, they were external and I was trying to work with them. So all the things about our past, sometimes something will come into our memory and we're like, oh, I don't really want to revisit that one. I'll do all these other ones, but just that one, no. Well, that's probably the one that you need to go to and go into and recognize what, how it was, what it is now. <clears throat> it might be the same stuff, but you're different. You can see it from a whole a more holistic standpoint and you can just decide to love that part of your life exactly as it is exactly as it is and accept that as part of your development your evolution your growth and even if there's pain there even if there's a sense of sadness there my challenge to you is to love that too that the goal is not to get to where everything feels good that's not the goal necessarily, it's being okay with how everything is. Acceptance. Acceptance allows all the pieces to come home. It's like being the parent and you had children go off and do all different sorts of life paths. Some did what you wanted them to do, others didn't. Um, some really hurt themselves, some did, made really bad choices, some were really like, you know, top of the class or whatever, but they, you want them to all come home. You want to bring them all home. So these are all the parts of us, all the experiences that we've had. You are a parent. You are the mother, father of your experiences. You created and co-created them for this life. So in order to create a new reality, to go into a new space, we must take inventory. We must bring all those parts of our creations home to us and honor them and love those about us too. And this can be challenging. If you need assistance with this, I'd love to assist you. You can send me an email, stasiabliss at gmail.com or visit one of my websites blissinthehouse.com or thefamilymandala.space and reach out. Let's do a session. Or just revisit this video again. Do the magnetic meditation. Feel those parts of you returning. 